In this video, we're going to talk about PRP or platelet-rich plasma, what it is, why it might work, and what injuries PRP might be especially useful for. In this case, plantar fasciitis. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Now, please understand, I'm not giving you medical advice in this video. This video is meant for general information and educational purposes only. Now, before we start talking about how PRP might be helpful for plantar fasciitis, we have to discuss what PRP actually is. It's again, also known as platelet-rich plasma. It's a con concentration of platelets that comes from your whole blood. It's put in a centrifuge and spun to obtain a ready-to-inject product. PRP works by releasing cytokines and growth factors like platelet-derived growth factor, platelet-derived endothelial growth factor, transforming growth factor beta-1, insulin-like growth factor-1, fibroblast growth factor-2, and vascular endothelial growth factor A. You don't care about the names of any of those, and I get it, but what I want you to understand is that these growth factors can enhance healing by stimulating cell proliferation, cell migration, and cell differentiation. They can modulate the immune system, regulate inflammation, and help with angiogenesis or the development of new blood vessels in the damaged tissue. These growth factors are essential for the three phases of healing involved in the healing of any injured tendon or ligament, inflammation, proliferation, remodeling. In theory, PRP allows for your own blood to provide a high concentration of growth factors to promote healing in sites that have limited capacity to heal due to poor blood supply. PRP can create a matrix that serves as a scaffold for sustained release of growth factors that can help bring in healing cells and new blood vessels to help deliver nutrients to improve healing. Now, before we discuss PRP or platelet-rich plasma as a treatment for plantar fasciitis, we actually need to talk about what this injury actually is. Plantar fasciitis is a very, very common cause of heel pain. It can occur in athletes, it can occur in non-athletes. It often presents as pain at the base of the heel on the sole of the foot. You might frequently notice pain first thing in the morning when you take your first steps getting out of bed. You might also notice pain when taking the first steps after sitting or lying down for a long period of time. And it can be really debilitating to an athlete with this condition because it can cause pain anytime you try to run. Now, fortunately, the treatment is almost always non-surgical, wearing a night splint while sleeping, stretching exercises, and physical therapy. The tissue in plantar fasciitis, the plantar fascia that holds up the arch of your foot, it undergoes a small amount of degeneration. It's not really an inflammation as the term plantar fasciitis suggests. Getting that area of degeneration in the plantar fascia to heal is critical to overcoming pain in this condition. Now let's see what recent scientific studies tell us about how effective PRP might be for plantar fasciitis. A 2017 study found that treatment of plantar fasciitis with a steroid injection, cortisone shot, or PRP injection, they were equally effective for, pa for patients with plantar fasciitis. On the other hand, a 2020 study found that PRP may lead to a greater improvement in pain and functional outcome over cortisone shots. Another 2018 study found that leukocyte-rich PRP was effective for plantar fasciitis. And finally, a 2021 systematic review and meta-analysis in the American Journal of Sports Medicine showed that while PRP and cortisone shots did equally well in the first couple of months, PRP is superior to cortisone shots for pain control at three months and lasts up for a year for plantar fasciitis. Now, you have to understand the research with PRP is very tricky. There's many different methods of preparation of PRP and many different final products. PRP, leukocyte-rich PRP, platelet-rich fibrin, platelet gel, and many more. All of these platelet products have varying concentrations of blood cells, plasma, and fibrinogen. So they have different concentrations of growth factors, different concentrations of bioactive molecules. So they might have different effectiveness or efficacy for plantar fasciitis. And the exact composition of the PRP isn't even reported in a lot of the studies. It might be leukocyte-rich PRP, leukocyte-poor PRP, and many more. And we all have different numbers of platelets in our blood, so studies comparing PRP can have different results. And other than the white blood cell content, the leukocytes, studies differ in terms of the amount of blood harvested, the use of anticoagulant, the number of times it's put in a centrifuge, the volume, the final volume of PRP, activation of the PRP, and so much more. All of those factors could influence the properties of the final PRP product and how well the studies show that it works 
for orthopedic conditions. And again, PRP is generally not covered by insurance. Most insurance companies still consider PRP experimental and will not cover it. And again, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. So what can we conclude about PRP for plantar fasciitis? Well, based on these studies, it does appear that PRP is a reasonable option, even a first-line option, for long-term relief of plantar fasciitis, especially compared to cortisone shots. And for somebody struggling to get over this, if night splints, stretching, physical therapy just aren't helping, it might be worthwhile to talk to your doctor or talk to your orthopedic surgeon about platelet-rich plasma for plantar fasciitis. If you'd like to read the studies I talked about in this video, I've put links in the description below. If you like videos like this one and you want information about optimal health and wellness and healing and recovery from orthopedic injuries so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be notified when I release a new video or when I start a new live stream. If you have plantar fasciitis or some other orthopedic injury and you wanna see someone who truly understands bone and joint injuries and athletes and active people, I'd be happy to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from injury, not just surgery, cortisone, and physical therapy. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. Go to the contact page to make an appointment to see me. The link to my website, the contact information is in the description below this video. Again, my name is Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.